Thousands of folks who normally wake up in the morning and go to an office are now working from home and many are finding it easier said than done. News Force Carly Gordon joining us now with some tips on Carly how to be productive. Well, let me just start by saying I am not an expert. I am right there with all of you all trying to figure this whole working from home thing out. But we did talk to some experts about how some little tweaks can make a big difference. TBI spokesperson Josh Devine is one of thousands of state workers now working from home. This is our kitchen and this is where I'm working. And he'll tell you with a three and a half year old. It's all just kind of organized chaos. It isn't easy. In between trying to entertain her and keep her on her own learning path. It's always just an adventure around here these days. Devine says he's adjusted his schedule, working before his child wakes up and after she goes to bed. And his mantra, be as flexible as possible. That's what families all across the area are trying to do is figure out this new normal. Oh, oh. Experts say make yourself an office or a I workstation guess, area. Get dressed as if you were I going to the I'm office. Sorry. Create a daily to-do list. Try to set aside yes. long periods of time totally for graphics. work. All things Divine plans on doing at home over the next few days, weeks, however long it takes. We all feel fine and we could be you know, working from a coffee shop, or I could go into the office and do some things, but it just doesn't make sense with what we're hearing from all of the health experts out there. And so I think that staying home is the best course of action for our family and for so many families right now, and we'll figure it out. Some other tips from the experts, they say try to get outside at least once a day. I know that's been tough with some of the weather we've been having. Also, they say minimize all of your social media tabs on your laptop. That way you aren't tempted to scroll through for hours. Tracy? We can all relate to. Thank you very much, Carly Gordon, today.